Hello, good morning. So today in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to um, open an account uh, in Schoology, register, and uh, join a particular class. So let me now share my screen. it is so again in this uh, tutorial i'm going to teach you how to be able to create your own uh, schoology account and eventually join a particular course uh, but before proceeding please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification button uh, for you to um, be updated about the developments in my channel so first, uh, for this particular video tutorial, there are three steps that you are going, uh, that I am recommending you uh, for you to follow. So first, you are to open uh, the Schoology platform. You can search that over Google. And then second, you register. And finally, you join a particular course. So let's start with the first step. For the first step, you have to open the Schoology platform by searching it over Google or any search engine. So when you type Schoology in the search bar, you will be given a list of options. You choose the first one, the top of the list, this one, Schoology Learning Management System. And then you click that. Once you have clicked that, you will be led to this website of Schoology and you will be able to see several tabs which includes tours stories connect resources blog and about now on the right panel of the screen you will be able to see login and sign up so since you do not have an account yet you click sign up so once you click sign up you will be given three options uh, those are instructor option, student, and parent. I am recommending instructor option. So click instructor option for you to be able to join courses and to create your own course as well. So there. So I am recommending instructor instructor uh, option. So we click instructor. Once you click that, you will be led to this. Um, uh, portion where you will be asked to sign up for a Schoology account and you will be asked to key in um, basic information which includes your first name, your last name, your email, and to create your own password. You also have to click this that you are not a robot and subscribe. You can actually subscribe or not to the Schoology Exchange blog, so you can either click that or not. And this one is most important. By clicking register, you are agreeing to our privacy policy and terms of use. You can read through those policies and the terms of use for you to be acquainted as to the details of your engagement with Schoology. And then you click register. Once you have hit in all those basic information or all those information necessary for you to create an account. So once you have registered, press stop. You now are ready to uh, do the next thing um, as regards your Schoology account. And that uh, those include, you will be asked as to the details of your profession, your teaching profession the country where you are teaching, the state and city, which actually may not be accomplished. You can ignore this portion and um, go to the next more important thing to do, which is to join a particular course. So now the third portion, the third step, third most important step in this tutorial is how you'd be able to join a course. So in joining a course, um, once you have already created your account and you have logged in uh, your account, you will be shown this panel. You will be led to this panel where you'd see courses. And once you click courses, you will be given 
uh, you will be shown the courses you are enrolled in. Since you have not enrolled in any course yet, you uh, go to my courses here on the upper right. Once you click my courses, you will be led to this. And you will see this portion here on the upper right portion. Join a course or create a course or even reorder courses once you have several courses already. So you click join a course. You just click that leader. So once you have clicked join a course, you will be asked or you will be prompted uh, to give an access code which is uh, you should, is generated um, whenever you create a course. So once you have that access code, you just see it there, or copy it there, and then click join and press go. You now are enrolled in a course. So say this particular course that I created for a group, um, you can now navigate and check out by clicking the section you are in. So you just click section two and you will be led to the documents and activities that the course has or, or the course have. Say upcoming activities include this workshop output and formative assessment. So you can submit and you can check the documents that are here in this course. And that's it. Thank you. But in the, the previous um, section of this video clip, you were shown how you can join a particular course. In this next installment, you will be shown as to how to navigate the particular course that you have joined. Just quickly share my screen. There. So once you are uh, logged in your account, you can now navigate through this Schoology platform. Uh, you'd see several tabs here uh, upgrade tab, courses, groups, resources. I recently updated my Schoology account, so I now have a picture here this uh, Schoology account uh, that I have created. And uh, you can go to courses, this tab, and choose uh, that particular course that you want to navigate. And this course, you see several documents numbered from one to eight, a session presentation, and a session workshop output and formative assessment. You can check out formative assessment and take this particular examination. This examination has 25 items and you are given 20 attempts for you to score at least 20 points. So once you've started once you've started attempting uh, there is a particular time limit for this. The given time limit is 40 minutes. So you have more than a minute to win a particular item. So let's say in this particular item, you can select an answer out of the four options. Say this. So let's say your answer is the percentile and then bonus and so on. But I'm not going to proceed uh, to answering all this. So I'll just go back and change the address so that I be led. Oops. I go back to the course. And I can check out another activity, which is session three workshop output activity. So in this activity, you are assigned, uh, you are given a task. You are assigned a task, and that task is for you to align or many intended outcomes and assessment. So 
You can submit your assignment. Click on. You can upload uh, your assignment in this one. Sometimes it takes uh, a while for that to open. It's like what's happening now. So you click uh, file and you can now select uh, the particular uh, file you want to submit. Say so you will be submitting uh, a file. Say so this one. Then you just click open. And you'd see that it's uploaded. It's the uploading is complete and then you click submit. And your submission is done. There, yeah, you'd see here that you're able to submit an assignment. But of course, this particular file is not the assignment expected uh, of you to submit. You can also record or review what you have submitted if that is correct. And that's it. Thank you.